everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really really well i'm sat in my lounge today on the floor i am literally i don't know if you can really see but i'm surrounded by presents because today i'm going to film and show you what i got for christmas and my birthday i've actually been a bit nervous to start filming this i'm eventually filming this on new year's eve i spent christmas round at my mum's house um luckily we were in tier two for christmas day so i could go and see my dad on the same day um but my mum's household is my support bubble so i stayed there until the 29th i think um and yeah i honestly got so much and i normally start these videos because i've done it for a few years now i normally start and say hi it's my birthday on christmas day so i automatically get like double what a normal person would get I also have a really big family. I'm one of five children, um, plus my parents are divorced um, and I get presents from both households. I still have like both my nans and things like that and I get a lot. This year though, I got, I, I think, I feel like I got way more than I have ever got before um, and I really got spoilt um, and I got two really big things that I purposely did not put on my list because they were so expensive um, and I still got them um, and it made me cry. <laughs> So um, normally I don't really care about um, whether people think I'm bragging or not because I feel like no one does think I'm bragging but this year I think because I got these two big things I'm really worried that it's going to come across like I am and I really don't want it to come across. I normally film this video every year um, and um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah I really did get a lot and um it felt surreal really um and i'm gonna pick and choose what i show you because there's so much like i can't i really can't show you everything that i got um but i don't just want to show you like the biggest or most expensive things i want to show you the thoughtful things and the things that might reflect my family to you or the things that i'm into you know like the quirky little things as well so i'm gonna kind of pick and choose as i go along um i think we'll start i've put everything in little piles of what they are I think let's start straight away with my like cooking and crockery kind of section. <laughs> so in my Christmas Eve box, yes, um, I get a Christmas Eve box. I actually get one at mum's and one at dad's. Um, I think because of the younger children, they would question why are the older siblings not included in the Christmas Eve boxes so we get included in them as well. Um, this set was from Sainsbury's. I only mentioned the plate to my mum and um, she ended up getting me in the Christmas Eve box two of these plates I think they're beautiful I just love everything Christmassy I am just like Christmas obsessed um and like I just have visions of me owning like this house and having people around you know almost like Pam and Mick from Gavin and Stacey I want to be them and I want to have Christmas themed plates and bowls and amazing decorations and like just I want to be like the hosting house whenever I eventually have a house so I love them um so I also got this mug which is huge great for like a hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows because that is huge um and then also these little bowls as well which are so cute you could put like little chocolates in there or anything really so they are lovely um, I also got this beautiful mug from my cousin. It has a K on. Um, I love anything that's got a K on it, like my, my initials, my star sign, um, my birthstone. I love all of that kind of stuff. Just it makes more personal stuff, I guess. And it's very like art deco -y. I really like that. And it's like a huge size as well. Beautiful. Um, I got a, this is so exciting. I'm 28 now. Oh, a pie dish I got a pie dish uh, last year for Christmas I uh, got the waitress the musical like pie recipe cookbook but I don't have a pie dish or anything so I got a pie dish a rolling pin um, and stuff and I'm really excited I'm gonna try and make a pie maybe I'll vlog the first time I ever try and make a pie because I don't really know what I'm doing um, but yeah so I got a pie dish and then also some like i don't know what you would call these i would call them a casserole dishes but i don't really know just like if i was doing a pasta bake or something like some nice oven proof dishes to put stuff in you know 
um, and they matched the pie dish, which was really cute. And I also got an electric whisk. Sorry if the lighting isn't the best, actually. It's quite dark. I'm filming this at like three o'clock in the afternoon. It just gets so dark. Um, I got an electric handheld whisk, which I'm excited to use. I only have like an actual like manual one um and when i make whipped coffee it's it like aches my arm a little bit and i just thought one would be really handy so i got one of those that was they were on my list i was like i don't really care which one it is just even like a sainsbury's basics one i'm just like a, an electric whisker and um, also to go with the cooking now i have no idea really what this is but my mum said apparently when you bake a pie sometimes you need to let the air out so this is a little pie bird I don't really know, I don't know, I've never made a pie before, I don't know, but um, yeah, I've got a little thing here that like lets the air out. Um, <laughs> I think that's all my cookery bits. I've just turned my lamp on so that it's a little bit brighter because it's getting really dark. And um, before I forget actually, I've got this jumper as well and I never ask for clothes for Christmas or my birthday because I always get so nervous that someone's going to get me the wrong size and I just feel like it's easier for me to just order things in multiple sizes and then you know just see what size I like um but my mum saw this in Sainsbury's um, and she was like it's right up your street Kaylee and I was like yes it is <laughs> it's a stripy jumper and um I love it it's in a size 20 um and it was from Sainsbury's I also in case I forget, got the Hamilton soundtrack CD, which is in my car at the moment. Um, and that like practically like sums me up. Like I really, really wanted that. Um, so I'm really happy that I got that. Um, I got some perfumes. This one I got a sample of this year. It's perfect by Marc Jacobs and it smells lovely. So I asked for it and my nanny Jill got me the perfume with a body lotion as well. So that was really, really sweet. Um, and then my favourite, like, ultimate perfume ever. Oh, my favourite ultimate perfume ever is Chanel Chance Eau Vive. Um, I feel like Eau Vive is the best one out of all of the chances. So um, I got a one of these from my dad. How many mil is this? 50 mil? Lovely. There was also a box on offer on QVC from Shea and Blue. Um, I think it was about 40 or 50 pounds and my mum was asking for more ideas for me uh, and I saw this and I was like well I was going to buy it myself but if you want to buy it for me you can um, and it was a little box and um, my favourite scent I've smelt from Shea and Blue is Blackberry Woods and it came with 100ml of Blackberry Woods which is normally about £50 anyway I think a little sample of like next year's signature like new fragrance which is called I think it's called where is it? Tallulah's Camellia. And then also came with these two as well. They're in glass bottles, very posh. This is uh, a hand and body lotion in Blackberry Woods. And this is a shower oil in Blackberry Woods. I don't, I've never used a shower oil before. Is it something you use after the shower or something you use in the shower? I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google how to use it, but that's lovely. Um, so I was really happy to get them. So I'm gonna be smelling lovely. Um, I also got some like impulse sprays and stuff like that as well. So I feel like I've got enough perfume to last me years. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the two big things. Um, one of them is from my brother. Um, and my brother is, uh, he never buys presents for anyone else. Um, I normally do all the shopping for everybody and he just gives me half the money for it all. Um, and he buys presents for me when it's my birthday and Christmas and he buys presents for another member of our family, a wider family who he's really close with. But that's like pretty much it. Um, and he is really thoughtful to be fair. There was one year where he got me like a Jamie T CD that had been signed and I think Jamie T had sold them in like the August of that year and my brother bought one and saved it for me for Christmas because he remembered that I used to love Jamie T in college. Um, and he is really thoughtful. Anyway, this year he told my mum that he wanted to get this for me because he knew I wanted one. Um, and I honestly can't believe it because we normally spend like 20 pounds on each other. Um, and I cried my eyes out basically <laughs> uh it's a good job we don't put makeup on before we open presents um but he got me a nintendo switch light which i cannot believe i cannot believe this that he got me this he also got me animal crossing so like one was for christmas and one was for my birthday 
but like it's so expensive this costs like a couple of hundred pounds like i could not could not believe it that he was willing to spend that on me when i bought him some cereal i thought he might like and like some weird like random peanut butter and stuff and random stuff and like he yeah i mean i i don't even have the words really i have been obsessed i've been playing this since um when did i start playing it boxing day every single day i'm loving it i love animal crossing i used to play it on the ds um and i really wanted one of these and my mission was gonna be for me to save up in 2021 to be able to buy myself one and the fact that he just gave me one oh honestly god um and then the other thing i got which i really was not expecting at all because my mum had asked me a few questions about the switch and like why i wanted it and which one i wanted and stuff and i was like mum i really don't mind it's not on my list anyway like don't worry like let's not talk about it but she never asked me about this she never asked me about an ipad mini she knew that my one had broken this is an ipad mini like what she knew that my i haven't even like got it out and played with it or anything yet she knew that mine had broken so i have one of the original ipad minis um which i got like nine or ten years ago um and uh i love it um and then in the last like year or so it's been slowly dying on me um it's really really slow and then um it can update to like the, any recent ios's and then my apps weren't um working and it would say you have to update them but then the new updates were for newer ios systems and not for the one that i was on um and it was just so old like the home button didn't work i had to have one on, on the screen that i would use instead um and now it's just completely died and won't charge and won't turn on <laughs> um but i used it like i would have it in its little stand and I would watch like catch up TV and just take it around my flat with me rather than lugging like my big laptop around everywhere. Um, and so um, I said to mum like, oh, mine's broken, but like it's not necessity because I can use my laptop. Like, you know, it's just like annoying, but it's fine. Um, and she got this for me for my birthday, which I can't believe. So yeah. I've got an iPad mini and a switch like honestly I wasn't expecting them at all and then I feel like I'm getting really spoiled and then I don't like, want to be spoiled you know like I, I feel like guilty for it um but yeah like I'd be happy with the pie dish and the electric mixer do you know what I mean and yeah so they're like the big things that I got um little like thoughtful things my little sister Maisie um, picked out her own presents for me, which I love it when she does this because um, it just means a lot to me because she thinks about what I would like. Um, and she saw this and she wanted one for herself, which she, en she ended up getting actually for Christmas. Um, and she bought one for her best friend. Um, this is like a... I don't know like a glass decoration of your birthstone um and so mine for december is turquoise uh and yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with it like whether i'm gonna hang it on the wall or or i don't know yet but how sweet is that she also picked out a bamboo pen that says special sister on it um which i thought was really really sweet so she got me that um my cousin got me a little bracelet with a lotus flower on my camera like doesn't want to really focus much anymore there we go a lotus flower and she was explaining to me that i mean she was just being really sweet and saying all this stuff to me which was lovely she was telling me that lotus flowers grow on like murky water um and like the symbolism of them and stuff and she's got a tattoo of one i think she said or she was going to get one i think she's already got a tattoo of one um but yeah, that was really sweet. It's just the sentiment of things, isn't it? It's just so lovely. Um, I got this, which I'm just so excited about. This is the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special of last year on DVD. So I've got the original one on DVD that I watch every year when I put the tree up. Um, and I didn't know whether they'd brought this one out on DVD or not. And they obviously have because I got it for Christmas. So that is exciting. So now I've got both the Gavin and Stacey Christmas specials on DVD. I bloody love that show. <laughs> 
my friend Emma bought me a bloody full size 100 grams of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Like, what the hell? I gasped when I opened this. I was like, oh. <laughs> um but yeah she's going through like an elemis um phase like she bought so much stuff from elemis a couple of months ago um and i've got a mini one of these that i got in an asos box in december um and i'm really liking it and um now i've got a full size one i can't believe that that's so expensive i was like whoa um a fenty beauty lipstick which i'm actually wearing right now this is in the shade thick um, in this light it's looking a bit browner than it really is, um, but I really like it. Um, I've also got this in Spanked and I really like that as well. That's more of like a, a bit darker, a bit more like of a purpley undertone to it. Um, but the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipsticks I love. Um, my nan bought me this little, um, Aromatherapy Associates face oil collection. Six essential oil blends. I had no idea that they made oils for your face. I thought they just made oils for your bath, um, and your shower. So that was really nice. There's a good selection in here too. There's two anti-aging ones, two hydrating ones, one for inner strength and one for mattifying, apparently. Or refining. Um, so yeah, that is lovely. A couple of games I got. Um, one from my cousin. We love we love Disney, we love the villains, we both love Maleficent so much. Um, and she got me this, which is a princess and villains personality test game. So you can see which princess or villain you're most like, like which I think is genius. Um, and yeah, I think that's so cool. So I got that. She also bought me a little yes, no game with a bell. Um, and it's so funny, she didn't know, but like I've got such fond memories of me and my brother playing this with my dad when we were younger. And now like I've got my own little version. She said she knows that I love games. Um, and then my nan got me Herd Mentality from Big Potato Games. I played this from my mum's a couple of days ago. It's really simple. Um, and I think it's like really easy to play with children as well. Um, you just answer a random question like what's the biggest animal you could lift up and you want to think like everyone else thinks like one of the questions was um what's the best kind of coffee and my mum always drinks lattes so I knew that everyone was going to say latte so I wrote latte down um even though I would not say a latte was the best because it's too milky but um like that kind of thing like you want to think like everyone else you want to have herd mentality um and that was really fun I got so many like bath bits um, but there are a few that I wanted to mention so I feel like it's more like you getting to know me really but I got so much sleep stuff um, because I love stuff like this. Uh, I got two pillow sprays, um, both were by Feather and Down actually which smell like lavender and chamomile. This is a sleep aromatherapy bath body wash in here. There's a lavender bath bomb, an eye mask, a lavender bath oil, and a lavender uh, bath, bubble bath. So much of that, which I love. <laughs> and then my mum also got me this eye mask, which is like, it's like um, satin on, on your eyes, which is lovely. But the other part of it is, the outside of it is fluffy. And it says shh, which is lovely. Um... I wanted to mention these as well, and this actually. My cousin got me a Christmas Spice Bath Truffle Crumble, which I haven't tried yet, but it smells amazing. I'm gonna have so many amazing baths. And then I wanted to mention these from my nan, right? Because I have a nan who normally goes to Dubai like twice a year maybe, at least once a year, and normally goes to like other places as well. She loves a holiday. Um, and when she's out there, she knew that I liked Bath & Body Works. And so for the last couple of years, she's bought me stuff from Bath & Body Works when she's been abroad. However, this year she hasn't been abroad. Um, and she got my aunts to help her. They found um, like a UK, site like i like the one that i use i guess um but this is the nan who you can't text her on her mobile because she doesn't know how to open her texts and read them and reply to people um you can just phone her so like it's so funny to think of her like trying to find this i know my auntie helped her but still um from bath and body works she got me the sweat or weather shower gel um and i very nearly bought this in a bath in um hand soap 
um, about a month ago and I didn't um, so yeah that's really cool and then this which is called don't stop believing orange vanilla swirl um, one of the foaming hand soaps I don't know whether she knows that I like the foaming ones I don't know um, but yeah I loved oh I love that so much um, and that, that's really thoughtful the fact that she couldn't go anywhere to get them but she still like came up with the idea to order them was like lovely um, and yeah I'm gonna save the orange one for like autumn next year because that's the kind of person I am um, she also got me two molten brown shower gels which um, I'm like whoa <laughs> uh, this one is in muddled plum and it's purple dark purple and it's sparkly like how amazing is that and then this one is in inspiring wild indigo they both smell amazing i think i've had a mini of molten brown before but i don't actually know if i've used it or not um but like this is just like wow you know um so yeah that's lovely i did get so much bath stuff though like if you don't know me like i love lush especially snow fairy so my friend bought me a snow fairy like gift box with stuff in um from one of my parents from my mum i got um a soap and glory like big gift set tin but then from my dad i got some other soap and glory stuff and like some separate soap and glory stuff um my cousin bought me this which I bought for my sister for her birthday in August this year and I thought it looked so cool um, and she bought it for me. <laughs> this is donuts and ice cream foaming shower gel which is just so cool like isn't it weird how we can get so excited over something so like it's shower gel but like donuts and ice cream. <laughs> I'm just picking things that I think will help you kind of get to know me a bit better like you know um i love coffee and i love flavored coffee and my mom got me these from beanies i had a beanies um advent calendar last year actually um, and i really liked it i've got cinder toffee uh toasted marshmallow and birthday cake which will be lovely to try as i said earlier i love stuff with my star sign or initials on my cousin got me a capricorn notebook and it's lined <sighs> and it's a soft one as well oh, i love stuff like that she also got me this which is so thoughtful like for a while I've been thinking it would be good to buy some of that but I just never have. This is the the beeswax wraps that um like replace cling film um and I'm so eager to give them a try and see what they're like um but a lot of people talk about these because cling film obviously is bad for the environment and you can use these and reuse them and like she's just so she knows me so well she's so on my vibe um and i also got this uh the lame is stage concert this is the one with carrie hope fletcher as fontaine in on dvd i did actually pay and buy it on uh itunes however i still have a fear that you know i might not be able to in the future have it because it's on my laptop um and i don't know like it's just it's online rather than you know what i mean i'd rather have the actual physical copy <laughs> so um she got me that which i love um my mum is so not into musicals really she's into more like mamma mia and greece um hamilton she has no interest in lame she has no interest in and i was like should we play it now and she was like not a chance <laughs> My dad got me a little like storage bag that I found on Next and thought was really cool with a K on. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, whether in my bedroom or in my um, lounge. Uh, but yeah, I would like that. I've got a yoga mat. <laughs> um, I asked for one of these because um, sometimes my feet like slip off of my on my carpet. Um, and I wanted a yoga mat because I've been getting into yoga so I've got one um, and I'm gonna try and do it at least every other day we will see um, I'm thinking of doing like a 30-day reset which is where you set tasks that you're gonna do every single day so I think one of mine might be yoga slash meditate so every day I'm doing at least yoga or meditation another one will be like drinking enough water another one will be drinking three cups of green tea a day and that kind of thing but i don't want to start it on the 1st of january because i don't want it to be new year's resolution i want it to just be like a random like 30 day reset so yeah that's the plan um and i also got this which excited me a lot and my sister was like really <laughs> this is a car boot organizer it comes with these like little things that you can put in the bottom to like pad to 
make it more sturdy um, but I'm so excited for this through my job I do something called Lego based therapy and I have so much Lego um, and I have like a cardboard box in my boot at the moment um, that I'm just putting the Lego in but then, then I've got other stuff and I just thought this would be so cool so I could put Lego in one section and in another section I could have like my de-icer and CDs and stuff like that so I thought that would be really cool <laughs> My cousin bought me a sparkly headband, which is so cute. Oh, I might just put it in now. Why not, hey? Yes, it's got the label on. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. I think it's lovely. So she got me that, which is lovely. I'm just gonna sit here with a label on, I don't really care. Um, my mum got me a mustard woolly hat. Do you know what, I don't, I'm not really sure if I suit hats very well. Um, I have a black one, um, but yeah. A mustard one I thought would be cool and then it was from Sainsbury's and then like next to it was this scarf and my mum was like I just thought it matched beautifully um, and it's so soft it's so soft um, it's like this like wider check this side and then this like smaller one with more mustard through it on that side um, and yeah it's just so lovely um, these are definitely colours I'm into like grey light pink mustard burgundy as well um i really want to get i've got like a big checkered coat i really want to get one that's a similar vibe but it's like plain black or like one block color so that i can wear like patterned other things with it um so yeah uh and then i think the last things that i'm going to show you are to do with alcohol um i got like uh some disarano which i was really like excited by because that's my favorite drink disarano and coke my nan got me this, which I'd seen in Sainsbury's and asked for. Um, it's a Hotel Chocolat um, gift set with a mint chocolate cream liqueur, chocolate cream liqueur and salted caramel vodka liqueur. And then my friend Emma bought me the salted caramel vodka liqueur like in a bigger bottle. So love that. Um, any kind of flavoured vodka reminds me of my friend Emma. Um, we had a games night at hers like a couple of years ago um and she had toffee vodka and we just kept like shotting it like playing drinking games it was lovely um and then my dad got me this which is a cocktail making set which is just so exciting it's got a cocktail shaker maker that's what it's called a shaker maker a jigger what's a jigger i think it's the thing with where how you measure out the shots an ice tong a strainer an opener a stopper two spoons two pourers two stainless steel straws an upgraded bamboo stand, a cocktail book and a brush. I think that I'm going to create a little section in my kitchen on the side that is like an alcohol section. I think like almost like a bar. I'd love to have a bar cart. I have no space on the floor where a bar cart would go like in my lounge or in my kitchen. And then to go with the cocktail making set, he got me or him and my stepmom got me ingredients to make a porn star martini because I had said that they were my favourite. So he got me two little bottles of Prosecco because um, Prosecco comes as a shot on the side or you tip it in. Um, some vanilla syrup. Some, oh! Some vanilla vodka. And Pessoa. So I'm loving life. There must be something else in there like some kind of juice, right? To water it all down. I don't really know. <laughs> But yeah, that is basically a summary of what I got for Christmas and my birthday this year. Um, I'm looking at actually, I got the bath towels that I wanted from Next, like an extra large bath sheet, so it should like wrap around me really nicely and like give me lots of room, which is always good. Um, but yeah, I just got so much. I'm surrounded by things, but I don't want to keep being like, and I got this, and I got this, and I got this, you know? So um that's what i'm going to show you to be fair i have shown you the majority of stuff but yeah <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching this video um i hope you enjoyed it um please i would say let me know what you got for christmas but i don't want this to turn into like oh this is everything that we everyone got like 
because that's not the most important part of Christmas at all. I do think that maybe because it's been 2020, I know that I bought extra things for some people to be like, well, it's been 2020, it's been a shit year anyway, so like I may as well get get this idea rather than save it for next year. Um and I think maybe that's what my parents have done, I don't really know. Um, but I just got so much, but really I managed to spend the day, half the day at my mum's house and half the day at my dad's house and it was lovely and I'm so appreciative that I got to do that because I know there are lots of people who couldn't do that. Um, and I hope that you all had a really, really lovely Christmas, whatever you did. Let me know when your birthday is. Let me know if it's near Christmas. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm thinking of doing um, a like positives of 2020 kind of video that might have been up before this one, I don't know. Um, and I don't know when I'll be back properly. Um, probably in like a week or so but yeah thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully in my next video lots of love bye